<laughs> okay, so I'm going to say something controversial. Oh, not you. Hi guys, this is Play It Again. I'm Ginger. And I am Mike. I brought the Farmer Ginger outfit yeah, I mean, out. Yeah, that's what we like. It's Farmer the height G. of rainy season, guys. It's been pouring rain non-stop for two weeks. I'm just exhausted and cold. Even our robust mountain dog is in here with us at oh, our feet. Oh yeah, it's brutal. I'm Look, I'm wearing my rubber boots and it, look how dirty they are. It's terrible. It's a bit mucky out. It's true. I, I can't complain though. At Costa Rica, at least our weather is almost completely perfect for 11 months of the year. And then the month of November is a dirge but yeah. it's brief. i actually saw a duck in the rain yesterday looking totally done with his shit. oh yeah it's funny because <laughs> guys so i'm sorry we're not, we'll get to the video soon but uh it's funny because we have turkeys and we have ducks and the turkeys hate the rain so the turkeys will huddle under any shelter they can find and they just look completely miserable but the ducks are usually just splashing around they're walking they don't care they they love the rain right but even the ducks right now that are just duck was standing so there. Done. They're just, soaking wet and they're just like standing doing nothing. That duck was just miserable. <laughs> so enough already. And I got puddles on top of puddles on top of puddles in the yard. So anyway, okay. What were we doing? We're gonna know. react to Avi Kaplan. Oh, okay. So Albus, who uh, brought us to Change on the Rice. Great, great. Oh my suggestion. god, it was so good when we did that one. Um, he mailed uh, at the time he emailed us two songs and uh, I don't mind doing two Abby Kaplan songs that's for sure uh, he very kindly dropped a super thanks that's thank you very I'm very grateful it's totally unnecessary guys but I mean now's the time to pitch if, if you appreciate the channel and you like what we do here a super thanks is a great way to say that because uh, we don't have a patreon we don't pitch anything. We never sell any merchandise from our store, it <laughs> seems, which is fine. That's not what we're here for. But thank you, Elvis, for that. Uh, I am not doing the second Ave Kaplan song just be, just for the money. We're doing it because we loved the last one. Actually, I've loved every Ave Kaplan song we've done. Um, and you said that you think that he was in one of those... Um, Wasn't it like the original Pentatonic Space Guy or something? Really? I think so. You know what? I meant to look that up before we did the next song, and I completely forgot to. So, y'all tell me, was he in Pentatonics? Because I actually can't remember. But it would make sense. Mm -hmm. So this one's called When I'm a Fool. <laughs> I call that every like day. All the friggin' time. <laughs> okay. So, I'm right. ready, yes. I, I, I need it. something, a pick-me-up. Let's do it. Oh, already. Darling, I'm a saint. Wish I could change the things I said that caused you pain. Fire in my eyes that made you cry. Filled up all the oceans and swallowed all my pride. And it sunk to the bottom of the sea. Yeah, it rose with my pride in that deep And I know I wasn't right Don't be mistaken I'll tell the truth when I'm a fool Oh, Lord! Uh, when I'm a fool it almost hurts my ears <laughs> I give to you my word that I will serve you like my queen, your praises I will sing. My love for you is older than a stone, stronger than a mountain, and like a river it flows right down to the bottom of the sea. Yeah, it rolls with my pride in that deep, and I know I wasn't right. Don't be mistaken, I'll tell the truth when I'm a fool. Uh, when I'm a fool. Uh, 
Come on now. I would, but all the cords are in the way. I said they caused you pain Fire in my eyes that made you cry Filled up all the oceans and swallowed all my pride And it sunk to the bottom of the sea Yeah, it rose with my pride in Mandy And I know I wasn't right Don't be mistaken I'll tell the truth when I'm a fool Smiling. That's how it should standing. be. Okay, so I'm going to say something controversial. Oh, not you. Surely not you. <laughs> I think the star of that one was a musical arrangement, actually. You think so? Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, his voice is outstanding, but he's outstanding all the time. Um, but his voice usually takes most of the prominence in the song but that one I actually I found the musical instrumentation suck me in way more digging the digging the, the all those layers jazzy bluesy pianos and the, all the piano the guitar work right uh yeah can, it was can all I even can I pause here and put a special special shout out for the drummer right like okay I could never with all four limbs like drummers normally do but normally yeah. at least they're just like hitting stuff this was like the rubbing your belly pat in your head of it he's shaking he's... this and doing this so and... what is that instrument i don't know like maracas just... or something i thought maracas were slightly different shakers yeah, I, I was the... thinking castanets but that's like the, the flamenco little, dancers little clicky, that things, little clicky yeah. things so i actually can't remember the name of that instrument this, that's that was dude. the one that everybody in music class wanted <laughs> right? That one in the sim, or what is it, the triangle. Everybody wanted the, the castanet, well, not castanet, whatever the hell that's called, the, the round thing with all the beads around it. The just rockets. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And the, and the... But that there's a guy who actually could pat his head and rub his belly. Straight up, right? That, that takes some talent. I, I can't 
couldn't possibly. <laughs> Not you know, I've enough. played a little bit of piano. I fooled around and played a little bit on the bass. I yeah. took like violin lessons for a year or two as a small kid. I've played the trumpet. So like I've got a pretty good handle. Yeah. On at least at a very basic level. Yeah. Of all kinds of different sorts of instruments. The drums, I could never do it. They're like, it's yeah. like, it's a whole different, whole different breed. Like, like the goalie in hockey. It's yeah. just a whole different thing from yeah. what the other guys are doing. My son is like a savant on the, the drums on rock band. And I used to just sit there and just watch him because <laughs> it was masterful to see. Right. And that's just rock band. It's not even a real drum set, but uh, yeah, really something. I, it's funny because I visited our friends Coco and Pepe yesterday and we actually had a conversation about how amazing it is and lots of people don't I don't think really think about it and appreciate how astonishing it is for somebody to be able to play the piano and sing mm -hmm. at the same time or play a guitar and sing at the same time. I think drums are the hardest of them all. It's gotta be. Because you're not just doing say like a, a piano a chord and, and a couple of fingers up here yeah uh, you're it's you're you're thing. doing four different limbs in the rhythm and on top of all of it you're doing something that's impact yeah it's gonna like shake your yeah your your core, your core. and so to keep the vocal steady crazy right so that's what's impressive about like brutus yeah of course if her voice shook you would never notice Right, <laughs> but it take like the gal from passion. the morning too, yeah, right? Yeah, pal. Phil uh, Collins back in the day. Yeah, so it's it's Don Henley. Like, let's not mention Don I know Henley we on this we're, channel. We're not his biggest fans, but uh. anyway, so like, mad props to anybody that can play an instrument and sing at the same time, and or like the drummer in this song play two instruments at once because, like, it's it baffles me how anybody can play an instrument at all but to play an instrument and sing at the same time is just yeah yeah and then and you got was doing that well he was playing guitar, guitar right yeah. yeah yeah that's i mean and, that's a good example and singing like he was leonard cohen if he'd never smoked and had singing lessons so you know what's funny <laughs> it's like take away the gravel add actual ability to sing <laughs> the first thing in my head that i thought when the song ends i'm going to talk about this was how astonishing it is to me that he got, has so much depth and he has exactly zero gravel in there. His voice literally sounds smooth it's like just butter. Silk. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely breathtaking how smooth it is. But even when he's like, uh, I can't remember what the line was, but he was like, ah! and But he did, even then, there was no growl, no gravel in there. Yeah. It was just pure smooth sound. It was absolutely really impressive to mm -hmm. see because I, I think there's a lot of temptation with a lot of male male singers in particular when they hit the high notes to just reach for the screech kind mm. of thing which is that, is that a technical terminology <laughs> i think so. it should be if it's not it should be but uh um and it has impact right mm -hmm. like that has its place but it's it's also really common to hear right. yeah so this, this whole smooth thing is a whole different vibe oh, and it's man, a real vibe no, it really is yeah i uh, never get tired of listening to it i that was yeah i i'm actually out of words now not <laughs> not that i haven't already said plenty <laughs> so thank you all of us once again for the suggestion uh it's always a pleasure to put an abby kaplan song on my uh, playlist is starting to get a little abby heavy but i don't mind that at all. <laughs> right it's funny because the only other male i think that we've ever heard that could reach that deep was uh jeff Caslucci, right mm -hmm. so yeah it's a it's a small club yep. but worth it every time so oh that picked me up and now i have to go out and uh kick my boots in the mud with the ducks again for a little while in the meantime you all can play that again <laughs>